Begman, tonight, Senator Ted Cruz of Texas, as you may know, he's leading the charge to defund Obamacare. That's a very controversial move, and even some Republicans say it's impossible and self-defeating to do that. But Mr. Cruz says it is noble, even if he loses. There's an interesting editorial about this in a Wall Street Journal today. Rejoining us now from Washington, Charles Krauthammer. So, you know, I was wrong in the beginning of this uh, analyzing Cruz business. I, I said to myself, you know, why is he doing this? going to create chaos and division in the Republican Party. But now, and I'm not as quick in the uptake as you are, Charles, I have changed my mind. This is a brilliant move by Cruz because he's trying to take over the Republican Party. He's trying to take over the conservative wing. He wants to knock out Rand Paul, who kind of had that territory. He wants to become the standard bearer and shape the party to what he thinks it should be. And this is his vehicle. He knows he's going to lose, but now it's Ted Cruz. I'm the man. So it's kind of brilliant. Can we start the segment with addressing the you going to hell part that you ended the first one with? <laughs> you gotta, you got to wait for that. Uh, well, I dissent. You know, I have a mild dissent on that. I think there's going to be a trial. There's going to be a trial first. <laughs> right. Long stint I'll be purgatory. A, I'll, 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 I'll be a character witness, if you like, but I'm not sure on which side. So, Ted Cruz, you're right on both counts. He's going to lose, and he's helping himself. And that's what all this is about. Yep. It'll be remembered as a diversion. That that um, his only its only effect is going to be can have no effect on Obamacare. It's, gonna, it's not going to shut down the government. Its only effect is to split the Republicans in the Senate needlessly over a diversion that is not going to happen. But you're absolutely right. It was Rand Paul who stole the thunder by that brilliant piece of theater when he did the uh, filibuster 11 hours on his feet, and he captured the imagination of the. Let's say a and what was the filibuster again? Right. Remind everybody what it was. It was about the drone strikes. Okay. He he wanted assurance from the attorney general that he that they would never strike an American sitting in a coffee shop in Omaha. I'm not sure that was a big problem in our country, <laughs> but he got but he got 11 got hours out of it, right. and he became a star. So Cruz says, well, if he can do that, I can do this. Uh, except that it's slightly more destructive for the politics of the Republicans. And look, it's playing in the Democratic hands. Right now, the Republicans own the Obamacare issue. It's unpopular. It's about to go into effect. For God's sake, even the labor unions are, are opposed to it. The AFL-CIO, which is the biggest supporter of the Democrats, came within a whisker of calling for its repeal. So everybody is on our side on this issue. And what are we talking about instead of Obamacare implementation, the train wreck? We're talking about Ted Cruz, shutdown of the government, people who are not going to get their Medicare, soldiers who aren't going to get their pay. Why? Because Cruz is pulling this stunt, which will have no effect at all in the end. All right. But I'm getting letters, and you will get nasty mail uh, just based I get them upon all what the time. you said. Right. We're good. Oh, I, we I, both I, get nasty mail because the far right in this country say we don't like the moderate Republicans. We don't want them. We want Ted Cruz. So whatever Ted Cruz can do to bring attention to himself and build up his power base in the long run is good because we want to destroy the other part of the Republicans, the Romneys, the McCain's, because they're losers. We want to take back the country in a conservative image. And he is our man. And you better not mess with Ted Cruz because he's our guy. So Cruz basically is saying, all right, I know Obamacare is going to be instituted, but now I'm a powerful guy and I'm going to change this country. I'm going to run for president, and he will. And I would ask him, what have you changed? Oh, he'll change everything. Are you kidding me? He's he, a doctrinaire he has, conservative. He's not Rand, he's he's been, not Rand he's, Paul, who's a libertarian. Cruz is a conservative look, down the line. He's been there eight months. He thinks he should be the president and not a senator. In that sense, he's like Obama, by the way. But I ask you, what's he achieved in eight months? What will he achieve it with, with, with this? Nothing. No, he's promising. Look, I'll give right. you a better example. I'll tell you a guy that we would all agree on was a hardcore conservative, Ronald Reagan. And he never said, I'm out to destroy the moderates in the party. He grew the party. He brought in the moderates. He was able to express principles that everybody could rally around. And he succeeded, and he did change America. If you want to be somebody who destroys, that's okay. But you are not going to win the presidency, and you are not going to help the conservative cause. And that's what I'm concerned about. Everybody I know on our side of the aisle is against Obamacare. It's destroying itself in front of our eyes. The axiom in politics is, if the other guy is committing suicide, get out of the room. Don't get in the way. Stay off camera. Cruise ought to as well.